On today's menu, a nifty way to prepare a bowl of noodles. A delicious homemade cup noodles. Lei ho ma, I'm Will Young from youngmancooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. Now there's only one thing better than a one pot recipe and that's essentially a no pot recipe. Let's begin. Chop down three broccolini into small bite-sized pieces. Place the broccoli into a jar. A few grams of red bell pepper, thinly sliced. Place the peppers into the jar. Two cremini mushrooms, thinly sliced. Transfer the mushrooms to the jar. Dice about a quarter of a tomato and transfer to the jar. Finally chop one stick of green onion and transfer to the jar. Quarter cup of edamame. Quarter cup corn. That's already looking amazing. Now, this is wakimi seaweed and this will expand like crazy. So you really, you don't even need a gram worth of this. We're just gonna break this down into smaller pieces and it's gonna give it that really nice kind of umami flavor and a little bit of texture as well. And this is the mung bean noodles that we'll be using. This gives off a lot less starch than the rice noodles. So we're going to be using this and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Fifty grams mung bean noodles. Quarter teaspoon onion powder. Quarter teaspoon garlic powder. Half teaspoon sesame seeds. Two tablespoons miso paste. One and a half tablespoons soy sauce. A splash of toasted sesame oil. Close the jar and keep it in the fridge for when you're ready to eat. You can always make several of these and keep them in the fridge. When you come home from work, you'll have this delicious meal waiting for you. Now, it might sound a little bit counterintuitive, but we can't actually pour the hot water into the glass jar after you keep them in the fridge because the glass jar will be really cold and it'll just risk cracking the jar. Plus, it'll really bring down the temperature of that hot water. For this one portion recipe, you'll need about two and a half cups of boiling hot water. Transfer the noodles and veggies into the serving bowl. Mm. 
Man, that literally smells delicious already. By the way, if you love easy recipes like this, then you'll definitely love the brand new cookbook simply titled Cook with Confidence. This is a collection of the favorite recipes from this cooking show. And I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check this out or get your signed copy of this amazing cookbook. Pour in the hot water. Use some chopsticks to stir around the noodles and dissolve the miso paste. Cover the bowl for 8 to 10 minutes. You can now make this easy and delicious bowl of noodles with absolute confidence. There's nothing like coming home to a ready-made meal. All you have to do is just boil some water. Amazing. That is so delicious. It's really crazy how packed with flavor this is. Really is just mind blowing because the effort doesn't seem proportional to the amount of flavor that is in this bowl. That is really, really phenomenal. The broth is just delicious. It has this salty kind of miso flavor and just tastes really full bodied even though it's not something that we cooked for days and days. The thinly sliced mushrooms and the wakame seaweed actually adds flavor into the broth. And of course you get that delicious sweetness from the corn, the delicious kind of fragrance from the toasted sesame oil that really makes this broth taste full bodied. You have the crunchiness of the broccoli, the little bit of the sweetness from the red bell pepper, just really delicious earthiness from the mushrooms. And of course you get that little bit of sesame flavor from the sesame seeds. The miso really adds that delicious kind of umami flavor and the tomato kind of just disintegrates into that soup and adds a little bit of that freshness. Of course you get that little bit of a crunch from those enamame beans and man, those noodles are just so delicious. It has that really nice elasticity to it but unlike the rice noodles that give off an incredible amount of starch, really, really delicious. All you have to do is literally just boil some water. That is really absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And of course, if you'd like to find out more information or get your copy of that new cookbook, you can check this out in the link in the description box below. Also in that same link, if you're new to the channel, you can pick up your free ebook that has five super easy, unintimidating, plant-based recipes to help you get started with cooking today. You can check those out in the link in the description box below. As always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so I'll see you in the next episode.